All right, so this is a slide of Caprinus. Caprinus then is a genus in the Basidiomycota. And it looks like it's the entire pileus. CS is cross-section, so we're going to be looking at a cross-section through the cap of a typical gilled mushroom. And if we look at this, we can see that it is a gilled mushroom. See all those striations and things? Those would then be the gills where it's going to be running through those gills. Okay, so easy to see that that's a gilded mushroom. We're going to then get up here and we're going to focus in on these gills themselves. Okay, and so we'll get here and we're looking for the reproductive spores right on those gills. And so obviously we need to move to a compound scope to be able to see that. So here are the gills under the 4X objective. So for the X magnification, um, I'm going to actually look around a little bit on these gills because I want ones that have a lot of spores. There you can see those have a little bit more um, reddish tinge to those gills, so those actually have more spores. So we'll go up under the 10X magnification, a lot of spores here. Okay. This is a basidium mycota, so a key thing we're looking for is a basidium. A basidium then is a single um, cell there that is going to have four spores attached. And so it would be nice to find a good one with four spores. I'm going to search a little bit here to see if I can't find a better one. Some of these are pretty good. And it's hard to actually see all four spores on these just because usually you can find two in the front and two in the back. Okay, and we'll just go down to that one. That one looks about the best. And then right there, yeah. You can see three of the four on this guy. Now I'm going to center it. And we can see that guy kind of right in the center. And we can see three of those spores. Ooh, there's a better one. Let's get that one. Yeah. Nice. Right there in the center. And I'm going to slowly even bring it farther in the center. And then what I need to do is put a little bit of oil on it. And we'll go up under oil immersion. All right, so now I'm going to go be halfway between the 40x and the 100x magnification, put one drop of oil right on the microscope slide, swing in my 100x magnification, and then focus. And there we go. We can see that guy nicely. You can see how there are three spores easily on it. There's one directly behind that middle spore. We can't quite get the fourth spore. So that structure that the spores are attached to, that's the basidium. And then the spores themselves are called basidiospores. And basically the basidium then, um, well the overall mushroom is dikaryotic. Right, the basidium then begins as a dikaryotic structure. Then we have um, karyogamy occur and it becomes diploid. And then when it becomes diploid, it goes through meiosis. And one round of meiosis in the fungus is exactly the same as a round of meiosis in people, where that round of meiosis then produces four haploid spores. And then those haploid spores are all ready to go disperse.